Hey there guys, Fancy Dragon here aka Syndrums, and welcome to part 2 of GeoGuessr. So, in the first part I told you that we will be looking at a unassisted and assisted run, but after I finished the unassisted one I already realized that the video was about half, a la uh, half an hour long, and I didn't really want to make it too long, so it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch. So, today we are going to take a look at the assisted run, and um, in order to aid this, I'm again, once more, going to be using a timer. Uh, usually, as already said, you don't use a timer for this sort of uh, playthrough, because the whole point is to uh, see how fast can you look up information that will help you to pinpoint your location. Uh, usually, the five rounds with assisted runs um, are counted that you're basically looking for as close as possible. There, It's more or less certain that you are going to get somewhere between 4,000 and 5,000 points, and if you get less, you basically... well, you lose by default at that point. But we are not going to worry about that. Uh, this time, however, we are going to have 10 minutes per um, attempt, and it is again going to be played on the world map, and it is going to be randomized. So. With that in mind, let's start. Let's get ourselves a location, and let's start the timer. So, first things first. Uh, this looks like a much more southern atmosphere than uh, the usual northern eastern European section. So I can already say, uh, see that, and it looks like we are on the right side of the road. And as usual, I'm going to start looking around, looking for certain um, marks. Uh, roofing tiles like this usually associate, for me, with places like Italy, for example. Places where there's a lot of sun, so they have the tendency to use that sort of moments. Okay, so this is going to be our first clue right here. We have a road sign. That says, um, where to go? Brajnica. So, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm sure we are going to see in a mo moment. Tch. Sorry about that. Brajnica. So, let's see where that is. It's in. Horvatia. I don't actually know how that place is called in in English, so let's take... A, oh, Croatia. Okay, that, that makes sense. And there is Prajnica. So, uh, let's set ourselves to north, and it looks like we are in a location that is south of Prajnica. I think what it says is that there is a... Okay, let's take a look over here. So, Puchiska. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So, we are seven kilometers away from Puchista, if we look at somewhere like this, and I can't tell, is that the road over here, or something else? What else do we have around? Do we have some smaller locations here, or do we not? 21 miles. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so there is another sign over here. So if we're we if we're facing north, that road is seven kilometers away from this place over here. So my immediate thought is that we might be in some sort of intersection. 
But is this seven kilometers? It sure as hell doesn't look like it, but let us take a look. It's easy enough to do like this. We simply enter this location, and as we can see, this is not the location we're looking at. So, let's take a look. Or is it? The problem with this is that it might be using a different time. So let's take a look at this again. You know, this might actually be it. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's that uh, cement mixer that we can see over here. Yeah, we found it. Okay, and now the moment of truth. Let's take a look where we are again. So we're over here. Uh, the question is, of course... Let's double check. Yes, that is in fact where we are. Now the question is... Where did we start? Let's return to the start. Okay, it is further away. Just a little bit further away. So let's see how further away it is. So we're currently running two maps at the same time, essentially. Okay, there is the stop. And those are the houses that I mentioned before. So we are trying to get back to the same location that we're currently looking at here. So let's just... These are the houses over here, and I think they are the ones over here. Yes, there we are. So we are right here at this little interest intersection right here. I'm going to make that guess. And my guess is spot on at 5,000 points. Let's pause the timer, and we have spent a little bit over six minutes. That is how you do round one. So the whole idea is that we're constantly getting 5,000 points, and it's basically who can find where as fast as possible. So let's reset it back to 10 minutes. I am glad to say that this was um, much easier than I thought it would be. Let's do spot on, literally, you found the exact spot, awesome, okay, great, yeah, okay, great, okay, okay, so, um, definitely not Europe, I think, uh, it is a, um, boreal sort of, um, much more northern situation than we were in the previous one, uh, so let's start looking around and seeing what we see, okay, so, this is some sort of place. Let's take a look. I non set I... Okay, so this is in a different language. This is not North America. I can see that. Okay, let's find Google. I... Non ad d detti. I non ad detti. So, what does that mean? Um, Italian to English. So, we are, looks like we are somewhere in Italy. That narrows us down quite a fair bit. Let's keep going. See what we can get. I'm currently looking for road signs or something of a similar sort. Let's take a look. What is this? Oh, of course you blur that out. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Google. Pala Fa China. Let's see, what is this? Did I write it right? Pala... Palafa? Palafa? China. 
China. Okay, let's try this. Translate. Okay, so this is a place. Uh, it, this is a very easy uh, way to figure out whether or not the location, uh, the text that you're looking at is a location or a translation of something. So. I'm currently looking at... So what is this? Palafa, China. So what is this? That is my question. And where does it even exist? Okay, that is... North from Venetia? From Venice, rather. And it is... Let's follow that one road. It ends over here. Cortina di Ampipipi. Wherever that is. Cortina di Ampezzo. Is that the same thing? Ampeco. Looks like it, yes. And then it's like 4 o'clock from there. Can you please stop doing that? Okay, let's close some of these things. And it is... It's literally the next big road from there, but I don't see... Actually, it might be this one? The road starts here, from San Agridono. Yes, that looks like it. And now it is one of the tiny little lo roads So my question is, is that actually that place? It sure as hell looks like it. And yeah, it actually looks like it. We are facing south, and we are facing south here, so let's go back all the way. From here we can see... Oh dear. Um, I actually forgot. Did I go... On this side? Yes, yes I did. So I was heading south from there. Let's take a look if we are in the same place. Um... I've gone a little bit... not in the correct direction. Yeah, okay. Let's return to our starting section. This is where the roads are. And let's go back. Oop. Sorry about that. Going to go to the pile of. We are quite next to it. Although this one actually lacks that pile. But I would say it's still that. See, th this pile is larger. <laughs> okay, so we're like somewhere around here. Okay, let's take a look.
Let's compare it real quick. We are slightly above the zigzag. And by slightly, I mean right above the zigzag, but before this little squiggly line over here. And let's make a guess. And boom, 5,000. Beautiful. Let's reset the countdown. Oh, I didn't even start the countdown. My bad. I'm so sorry. So, um, let's actually do that. And we are quite literally in the middle of nowhere. Not really sure how to feel about this. Um, you okay there, buddy? We're driving on the right side of the road, so that rules out quite a few things. And also, for some reason, you apparently cannot... 305-368. That is a clue, let's remember that. And these signs look very European-esque. But let's not get distracted by that. Cows! Apparently this place has cows. That only narrows uh, it down by a little bit. So, yeah. Saying that we are in the middle of nowhere is quite an understatement. This is one of those unlucky draws when there's just nothing I can use for reference. I have a street number. And that's about it. So let's keep going. I don't even have a country yet. And I'm not exactly sure if I can find the name of a country simply by punching in the street number. Which is... Back there. I didn't write it down. So my question is, can I see what's written here? No. No, I cannot. Well, this is... problematic. This is actually problematic. There are no... Let's go back. There is just nothing around. Let's keep going, I guess. Okay, there there are some signs over here. Let's see. Okay, what do we have? That looks like Greece. That looks like Greek, rather. Er... Zerot. No, that's obviously not Zerot. Am I going to see this location from here? Probably not. 31P Greece. No, that doesn't look like it. That's... maybe that's a distance? Okay, let's quickly double check what this other one is. Thank you. Okay, uh, in order to help us, I will have to somehow write this into Google. And I need Greek symbols. So we'll start with the three zero thing. Greek alphabet. And it looks like it might be a... Hmm. Is it an Epsilon? 
I would say that's a capitalized place, but... Uh, okay. Pu... E o... No. I'm thinking Russian, and that's kind of... P3 OP C3PO <laughs> No, that's not C3PO. Okay. I'm actually going to try to It's a row. P31 maybe. Maybe? No. Okay, let's try to write this. Z... Oh, it's not a Z, it's a 3. I I'm still thinking Russian right now, and that's kind of problematic for me. Um... But I don't see a number like that. Like... Maybe this? Maybe it's a Sigma? Okay. I'm gonna say that it's a Sigma. Z... O... But... What it has that O with a strike through it? Oh no, it's Theta. Okay, then it's a P. At least it looks like a P. I have no clue how they pronounce it. I mean, it. Uh, I'm told how they pronounce it, but... Now it's like a Russian P. And before it doesn't exist... Oh, no, no, it's a Russian L. What am I talking about? No, 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 no. Oh, this is slightly confusing because it looks like it's a completely different shrift from what they're using on the signs. And that does not look like a Russian P, it's more of a Russian L. L. What about the... no, it, it's definitely not it. Is that... Okay. Is there maybe some sort of... Modern way? Okay, screw it. Let's try to actually write that thing and see what it gives us. And it... This thing. <laughs> nope. What about this? No. Oh, dude. Okay, let's go back to the... to the road number, maybe? What I ex suspect is a road number, anyway. And let's be hurry. Uh, let's be quick about it. 305-368. Is that distance, or is that a road number? Grease Road. 305-368. Nope. My problem is that the the symbols they are using here is completely seemingly different from what they're using here. Am 
much time do I have left? 25 seconds? Well, it's Greece, and that's all that I can say about it. I'm sad to say that my lack of being able to write this is currently screwing with me. I guess I could have photographed this and used uh, Google Translator, but sadly that is not an option, really. Oh, you know, I didn't even check this out, but it sure as hell doesn't look like it's actually heading anywhere. Yeah, I'll have to simply say that it's Greece and just hope for the best. It's... it's not even close to Greece. No wonder that it didn't look like Greece. Why did I think it looked like Greece? Oh, wow. So, in... usually in, the, in a play like this, I would say I just lost. Um... Yeah, that was completely on me. My first initial guess was wrong, and I thought it was Greece. What I should have done, by the way... What I should have done is just taking my little dude man bro somewhere in a random location, just look around, and as you can see, this sure as hell does not look like whatever we had over here. So. Let's take a look now. And start. Okay, we are in a town. Looks like English. Um, the cars are on the wrong side of the road, so I would say this is... somewhere in England. Hart Street. Okay, then. Heart Street. Oh, let's take a look at it. Let's see if this is, in fact, the street that we're currently looking at. Sometimes this is very simple to do, and sometimes it is not. And I would say that in this this particular case, it is, in fact, not. Where did it show me? No, this is New York. No, I need Heart Street in England. Heart Street, UK. There we go. Let's try this now. Edinburgh. Heart Street and 4th Street. Um, this is definitely not the same place. This looks like a much... Uh, okay, there is one way to do this. Am I sure this is not the right place? Let's take a look around, and... yes. It is definitely very different. Let's see if we can find some sort of small business. Called Paris Hill. in a kind of three-way-esque intersection. That might be this one, actually. Let's take a look. This seems a little bit more plausible, but... At the same time, not really it. And it's in Liverpool? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Um, let's check this place out. This one looks kind of like it. Oh, this might be it, actually. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. If we take a look at over here, then yes, that is in fact the same place. Okay, Liverpool.
And now we just need to find that place again. Uh, where was he? Copper's Hill, it is underneath the roundabout and the next one over. So there is the underbout, and this is the next one over. Copper's Hill, there we go. Let's go back to the start. We are looking at north. And we actually exited on that place? Yes, we did. So we're looking for that place. Lord Nelson Hart Street. There it is. Yes, there it is. And Hart Street. And we are here. Okay. Yep. This is exactly what we are looking for. And for some reason, I just lost myself. Copper's Hill. Hart Street. Boom. Bash. And there we go. 5,000 points. And there we go, last round, boys and girls, last round. Five minutes? Let's go. And we are in a rural region without a road, and that is going to screw us over very much. I do see a Neva, though, so this must be some sort of Slavic country, so I'm going to just prematurely go at around here, isk. And see what happens. I'm gonna try to go like south ish. At least somewhere in a one fixed direction. But it looks like I cannot even go there. Which is rather problematic. Okay, let's return to the start and this time just go north. It's probably gonna be much easier. He said with a certain amount of hope. Oh, and, uh, what is this movement help? This is not a urban, it's like right outside some sort of city, probably. Oh, this is going to be problematic. But yeah, this is a Slavic country, you can tell instantly. If only simply by the um, old Soviet cars. Not saying it's a bad thing, obviously, no. Um. <laughs> well, what are street signs? We're still heading north, though. Uh, there is a street sign of some sort of front. question is, can I read it? <laughs> oh. Anyone here reads Rust? Ah, uh, yes. This, this, this is the entrance to the Silent Hill. And it's doing that one thing. There we go. That's going to help us a little bit. I'm sad to say that this might actually screw us over. Then again, technically speaking, considering I, I completely uh, frucked up the third round, I've already lost, per se. So this is just for the sake of the video at this point. Oh boy. I'm sorry to say, but this is not a nice place. I'm sure during the summer this is a much interesting place, but either this was shot in like very late autumn or like spring. Can't really tell. And Google is doing that one thing where like it, it only moves you an inch because the the rapid forward movement is like gone somewhere. Okay, this is not going to help us. Let's return to the starting area. Yeah. There is really not a lot 
for us to see here. That's the problem. It looks like that is just the main road. Oh dear. And now we're stuck with, like, single individual movements again. Oh, I actually saw just something right now. Did I see something interesting? Mm, no. I thought I did, but in reality, I, in fact, did not. Before we were in, like, Romania or something. If I could only read the sign. If I could only read this goddamn sign. Where the freaking forward thing is? Seriously? There we go. Who the hell designed this map? Can you see where I have to press in order to go forward properly? This is dumb. I'm trying to move forward as fast as I can. Yeah, no such luck, I'm afraid. <laughs> Even the freaking Google car is trying its best to avoid the obstacles on the road. Which is really hard to do when your obstacle is, in fact, the road. But it looks like the people here have not heard about a amenity called Street Signs, so I'm sad to say that with only less than five minutes left, there's really nothing much I can do here. Especially when Google cannot even design the map properly so that I can move forward in increments that is longer than, like, one. Because for some reason it thinks that... Oh. This is actually terrible. Oh, now it's fine. There we go. And there it goes again. You see where Google thinks the road is? Come on. I believe in you. You can do this, he said. I just want to move fast. Give me speed. Yeah, but this is like a road that... Yeah. Not happening, boys and girls. Not happening. Which European country has no road signs? Oh... I'm gonna say, like, Romania something, because I'm just getting slightly annoyed at this. Imagine if I, like, appear in the middle, like, of your freaking country. I need to find myself... somehow. Who am I going to ask? Also, whoever designed this map interface is a lemon. Because holy hell. I need to know at least what country I am. Come on. Road signs. Any kind of marker. Come on. This is silly. I can't even judge it by the road signs, like, you know, the stripes on the roads or which side of the road I'm driving on, because I'm not driving on the right or left, I'm driving on what's left. Oh no, human activities. Oh, I think I saw some sort of sign, but... No, it's just something blue that I've come to associate as a sign. And it's doing it again. And now it's actually going, like, down. Dude. 
Why am I going down as I'm going forward? Please, Google. I know this is a post-Soviet third world country, but come on. Well, it's, technically it's a second world. Second world country, but ah, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, we are in what I assume is civilization. When in comparison to the previous one. And I think I see some... Um... Please stop being shit. I'm actually becoming irrationally angry at this map. Can I have a road sign, please? Any sort of road sign, come on. It... it just... it drove me up. It's an inclination now. Friends, this is terrible. I do not know what to expect now. How much do I have? <laughs> the problem with me choosing now is basically which Slavic European country he says through gritteth tree, uh, gritting tr <laughs> teeth I despise the most. And that is going to get the um, Romania. No, it is actually Russia. <laughs> yeah, this is way far off. Okay, guys, so let's view the summary. I lost the game the moment I picked Greece instead of Mongolia. But to be fair, like, those symbols, that kind of alphabet really associates with Greek for me. So I don't think I was, you know, that bad off. Uh, three places we pinpointed with ex extreme position. And we mixed up Russia with Romania. Okay, guys, so that is in fact it. Um, this is another way you can play GeoGuessr. And hey, if you want more embarrassing attempts at me to figure out where the hell am I in either one, Give this a thumbs up or the previous video, and I'll make one at some point later. This is Spazzy Dragon AK Syndromes. Uh, travel in um, Russia safe.